the, a big theme of this book is the idea that skateboarding or art or any other sort of pursuit that is similar or music is a reason to go out and is a reason to be drawn out into the city and is a reason to go into the parts of the city that maybe kids normally wouldn't go were they not doing this thing. And I think like for me, I I love skateboarding for that because it it takes you out of your comfort zone and it it, it drags you over to the kind of the bad part of town. Or it, it you end up at a gas station at like three in the morning, you know, under fluorescent lights, uh, skateboarding. And so I think that's such an amazing part of skateboarding and it was really what attracted me to it was the engagement with the world. And, and I think like kids now, I just read this study that just like drove me insane. Uh, they put trackers on kids in the 70s and they realized that kids at that time had a five mile radius from their homes. And they did the same experiment with this in the same neighborhood recently and kids had like a 40 foot radius of their homes. And if you think about how crazy that is that kids no longer get on their bikes and just ride into different neighborhoods and check stuff out because people are afraid of them being kidnapped or of getting hit by a car. It's just, it's staggering. And so for me that was such a big part of growing up and that was what skateboarding was for me, was a reason to go somewhere else. Uh, and, and that's why I always love to travel. So, I don't know, let's take some questions. I feel, I'm getting bored of the sound of my own voice. Who, anyone have a question? Uh, yeah? Uh, what made you uh, become like, uh, sort of like, you know, the, what, the culture of skateboarding is super kind of like, I don't know, for me it was like seeing uh, super underachievers Thanks. That's a really. I've been, I, I'm asked that like all the time when I go to writers' festivals because it's really weird because a lot. I mean, most writers when I talk to them, it's like I went to Harvard. I, you know, it's like wow, uh, that's a really different experience than that I had. But I think like skateboarding is really like really prepared me for writing in many ways because it's like there's nobody there to tell you what to do like there's no coach there's no like competition it's just you in a room battling this thing trying to like make this big collection of words that mean something to people and so i treat it like almost like battling a skateboard trick like i just I just work and I work and I work and I work and I just I feel like the, the sort of the the risk that's involved too, like the you know, writing is really scary. Like you put a book out there and you look on Amazon at the reviews, <laughs> you know, people are like, boring, this sucks, you know, this guy should quit or whatever. And you read that and you're like, okay. You know, you, there's a lot of ways you can take that. You just sort of have to pick yourself up and keep going. So I don't know, I think Skateboarders are really <coughs> creative and really tenacious and really smart and really like they think outside of the box. Like we look at a handrail and say, I can slide that. And then other people just like look at it and say, well, oh, that's a good thing to hold on to so I don't fall down, you know? So, I mean, skateboarding prepares you to think creatively, I think. Um, and, sorry? Adversity in a positive way. Yeah, like because a lot of I mean we you know I don't think skateboarders are only like bad kids, but if you talk to a lot of skateboarders, it's like my mom was mentally ill, my dad was a drunk, I'm an orphan, you know, like and then there's a few normal kids too, but like there are a lot of there's a lot of stuff in the background, you know, and a lot of kids who aren't getting what they need at home and maybe go out and form these communities and like make these friends and build up these these communities that, that sustain them. So I don't know, I think skateboarding like saved me in, in many, many ways and is the reason that I'm a writer. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, a lot of 
parents can be out of touch with their kids who skateboard because they're they didn't grow up with that. Um, but like being having growing up, having skateboarded, and, and now you have kids like and you have experienced parenting. What would be some like creative solutions to to kind of accompany your your child and um, yeah, and be a good parent? It's weird because like now I'm in a situation where I'm like the hockey dad with all the trophies in the basement, you know, like and I don't want to force skateboarding on my kids. Like I don't want to talk about the old days with them. Well, let's, you know, let's, assume, like, let's assume that one day they get there, they see someone at school, and they and they want to get a board, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, take me down to the shop. I'll oh, sure. skateboard." Then what? Like, what's your approach going to be? I really just believe in like giving kids freedom, you know what I mean? And so I, I, I have not pushed, like they, my, both my sons have skateboards, they're there, they like ride them on their knees and I take them to the skate park and they just sort of, and, they're, and often they're not interested in them and I, that's totally fine. I really think kids need to be provided options and just be allowed to follow like their hearts and follow their interests. And if that's not skateboarding, that's fine. I mean, I, you know, there are a million amazing things to do out there. Um, so I'm sure they'll find one of them, hopefully. Yes? Yeah, I just uh, I wondered, when you uh, decided to get, become a writer, yeah. start to write down your experiences, did you uh, go into, like, when you're writing, like I know when I write, yeah. uh, I go into what I think is kind of like a, a non-thought, a non, non-physical thought, uh, creative side of myself kind of like a channeling sort of a situation where I, I, I some some idea that comes and I zap it all down, but I don't read read over it as to edit it myself or to write for anybody but for me. Like I yeah. I'm not even writing for me because the, the, the words just kind of scribble out like yeah, yeah. go for it. I don't know. Yeah. But just they, they, they just come and, and these thoughts come roving through and I read it, read it, read it and like I said I don't correct it and I read it afterwards. And there's a lot of, you know, there'd be a lot of mistakes, of course, but also there's a, I, I, I feel that's more creative uh, in, in, in writing. Is that similar? Yeah, that's I mean, right. right. To, to just write it all off and then, and then uh, I don't have somebody edit it if you have to. But I always start to get more creative creativity when, when it just flows like that. Is that the... Yeah, there's, there, there, what you're there's a psychologist guy who wrote a book that he wrote, I can't say his name because it's really long and really Eastern European, but... There's an idea called flow, which is like a state of mind where you're just in it, you know? And I remember that from skateboarding, there are days when you just you can't not land tricks, and there are days when you just are just terrible. And, you know, it's hard to tell what separates those things. And I, yeah, and so in writing, you get in that state sometimes where you're just, you know, you're not even thinking, you're, everything's flowing, and, and, and the words are coming out, and, and they feel true, and it feels good. However, there are, because I, I, I write full time now, and I'm working on another book, and there are days that are just awful, too. And, and I think it's really important to just push through both, to enjoy it when it's good, but also to, to keep going when it's, when it's not working so well, too. But it's, uh, it's funny, I do get in a weird mind state. Like, I, I have like a little thing, a cabin thing that I write in, and I'll go back into the house, and my wife will be there. And I get this like really distant like Vietnam a thousand yard stare kind of look, and she'll like ask me questions that like she knows I'm not listening to her at all. And she'll be like, "Can I go to Mexico and leave with you with the kids for like two weeks?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, for sure." Just like not paying any attention. So it's different. Like it's a weird mind state to get in, and it's, it takes practice. And that's awesome that you. So you, get, you, you, you don't have to go up there and actually do it, like you say, becoming a writer. Yeah. You don't have to write, it, even though the, that flow is there. Yeah. Like you say, you have a down day, but I, I find that like, different. Like you say, skateboard seems to bring on maybe a, a creativity of the mind. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's, it's a, a physical thing that distracts the physical so you can go uh, mental mode. Yeah. Anyhow, that's what it is. Cool, yeah, man.